Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to talk about Peanut Island and my trip to it. It's in Florida. This is a man-made island and was able to go kiteboarding and saw some manatees. ReviewOutlaw.com. New videos every Thursday at 3 p.m. Subscribe today. So it was really windy that day. Uh, we're going down in the month of December and the wind was picking up pretty good. So I threw my kite board in, in a dinghy that I had, a little electric engine on there and a short drive. Um, if you don't have a dinghy, there's also a water taxi um, that will take you back and forth. Um, but because we had a dinghy, we just took that. And so the water is really shallow around this island and what's, that makes it really good for kiteboarding because you can stand up and good for learning kiteboarding, things like that. There's not too many people on the island. Um, there's a couple of people cleaning things. There's a good running path around there. Um, there's also a, a dock right here where you can pull a larger boat up. And this is it right here that I'm running down. The seagulls like to hang out on that, so I like to get them out of the way first. Uh, but if you had a, a larger boat, you could pull that up and leave that all day. Although you, they don't let you stay, keep it there overnight. Um, so that's one thing to be aware of. Uh, but the island itself has really, really blue water. You have um, an outlet to the Atlantic Ocean right there. It's actually a very uh, nice place to go to Bahamas because it's very close to Bahamas. So um, it, it has that nice blue, blue water, very, very clear, which is neat. Uh, it has the palm trees and everything like that. But uh, this day I did wear my wetsuit because the water was a bit colder. Um, and the wind was blowing pretty good and it just didn't want to get too, too cold. Now the wind that day was barely enough to go kiteboarding. I had a 13 millimeter Cabrina kiteboard and I was just able to go up when just barely I ended up kind of getting drifted downwind a bit cause it would gust. So I'd have a couple minutes of pretty good, um, kiteboarding and then it would just kind of die and have to wait for the wind to pick, pick back up. So I was happy I get to got, got to go at all, but if the wind was steadier, if, you know, if it was a little bit heavier, I definitely could have get a better ride in. So, but all in all, I really like the spot. Um, there is a couple of boats out there that you can see me kind of navigating um, through. So that's something to be aware of. Um, I was able to handle it no problem, but if you're a super beginner, you'd probably want to stay away from any of those boats. Um, but the, the plus side is it's pretty shallow, so you, it's probably waist deep depending on the tide, if it's uh, low tide or high tide. As you can see from this picture, there's that lighter um, color that's going to be your shallower water, and then the darker water is your deeper water. Um, there was not too many boats going back and forth, so that was nice as well. They stay pretty much away from the island because there is a lot of sandbars and things like that near the island itself. So after uh, getting finished up with kiteboarding, the wind kind of died out. So we went to the other side of the island and there's a neat little place that um, you can kind of swim around. They, and we actually saw this uh, manatee, which was uh, pretty cool, very slow swimming. We were just swimming there and it came, came up next to us. Um, so we you know, didn't interact with it too much, but we, it was neat just to look at with the GoPro and stuff like that. It was looking for food and we were looking for uh, some small fishes and stuff like that. But that was pretty neat. The first time I've seen a manatee in the wild before. Um, pretty cool creatures. So overall, I really like Peanut Island. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're in the area. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments. Thanks. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you have time, please give me a thumbs up. Share the video on Facebook or social media. Click that subscribe button. 
And don't forget to hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get a notification when new videos come out. Finally, you leave me a comment. I love those. Really appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.